Microsoft making headlines this week after unveiling its voice-activated digital competition to Apple's Siri named Cortana. And last week, the company's new CEO, Satya Nadella, said it's bringing Office to the iPad. These are sweeping developments, and they leave many saying today that Microsoft, get this, Microsoft making a comeback. The competition is on alert. Technology expert and Quantum LLC CEO Ari Zaldin is on the phone to talk with us a little bit about this. Ari, we have not for a very, very long time spoken about innovation at Microsoft. Is this innovation? Hi, Andrew. How are you? It's Hi. great to be here. Um, the answer is, is it innovation? Yes. And Microsoft is trying very, very hard to be able to catch up with both Google, um, Google and, and the iPhone. So, uh, you know, we, we haven't heard much about Microsoft in the, um, in the whole software space, like you said, in the past couple of years. Um, but now they're, they're making headlines uh, pretty frequently. And if you look at the stock price, stock is trading at an all-time high of about $41 a share. Yeah, and people have to remember that the stock was in the doldrums, dead, dead money for more than a decade. Talk to us about the new CEO. He is coming in and he has reversed many of the policies that his predecessor Steve Ballmer had. And one of them, of course, is bringing Office, which is Microsoft's most popular product. It's what drives the revenue at Microsoft to the Apple, Apple iPad. Both competition for iPad was also a validation of who has won the tablet awards. Right. And, and I mean, this is game. I think that this is game changing right now for the company. I mean, getting software, Microsoft Office software onto the Apple's iPads and, and all their other tablets. I mean, it's a, it's a huge game changer for them. And I think they're really excited. I mean, look, the new CEO, he's on board, he's going on full force, and he needs to start competing more aggressively right now for market share, uh, including the smartphone space. Right now, Microsoft only has about 7% of market share within the smartphone space. And according to a recent IDC report, there are hopefully going to be looking at a larger probably 20 or 30 percent share over the next few years. So the question though now is the new CEO able to change the culture within the organization where Microsoft can actually innovate meaning bring game changing products to the market and not just sort of the same old stuff which certainly you know prints a lot of money. Office is great but uh, that's where the weakness also is for this company. Right. Um, I don't think they have a choice. I think they're going to have to in order to stay afloat. Um, it's not so much like it was, you know, five or ten years ago. They were the only game in town. Whether they innovated or didn't innovate was almost second. Today, in order to compete within the space, they've got to do it right now. Do you get a sense, Ari, if you have had a chance to speak with people at Microsoft, that there's sort of a, uh, you know, a fresh air that's coming into the place, that this is really sort of the exciting times again for the company? I think so. I think you're going to see a, a huge upswing in terms of not only the products that are coming out, but management too. And again, whenever you have a, a turnover with new management, you know, there's every manager, every CEO brings its own specific culture to the place. So changes are good, especially in the tech space. And I think, look, Microsoft is, uh, is, is still the 800-pound gorilla in the space. They just need to do it better and quicker and more efficiently. Yeah, and if you believe the stock price, that it leads fundamentals, and Microsoft is onto something, you mentioned quicker and better and more efficient. Can the company get there? That's the question. Can it do so without sort of breaking itself up a little bit, even if it did it internally? Well, I, I, think, I think for that, I think the answer is, you know, can they do it? Yes. Will they do it? Only time will tell. And I think for them, very specifically for the space that they're in, I think it's going to be sink or swim. Um, but I think the new CEO is, a, is going to be able to make some extremely effective changes in the near term. Ari Zaldin, CEO from Quantum LLC. Thank you so much. Feel better. I know My you've been Thank you, Andrew. Thanks. Time now for our